hello and uh, welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to install and set up tivaware libraries and create a project using these libraries in the tivac board so let's start the video first of all we will have to download the tivaware for that just go to google and type tivaware download and click on the link provided by the texas instruments and after clicking this particular link you will be taken to the texas instruments web page where you will have to scroll down and you will find swtm4c tivaware for c series software click on the download option and then you will be taken to another page where you will find a list of files to be downloaded so we are interested in this file which is swtm4c 2.2.0.295.exe this is the latest version of tivaware for tiva c board after clicking this link you will be taken to a web page where you will have to provide your credentials to download the software if you have not registered in the website then please register yourself and then provide the login details and download the file after click clicking the login button you will be taken to a ti request form page where you will have to provide your first name last name email address company or university the country you are working and then whether you are a civilian or a person belonging to military so since i am a civilian i have clicked civil and then scroll down and check the yes button and click on the submit button once you submit this form you will be taken to a web page where you can click on the download button to download the software click on the download button and you will get the software for example i have downloaded the software double click on the exe file click yes and this will start the setup so click next next check the i agree to the terms in the license agreement click next don't change the path i would recommend not to change the path provided by the software click next install since i have already installed the software it is prompting that this particular file already exist do you want to overwrite it so let me just click yes to all to overwrite it and then the installation will continue it will take maybe a minute or two to install the software along with all the library files so we can wait for just uh, maybe 20 or 30 seconds let me show you the path where this file is getting installed so in your c drive if you have not changed the default path then this particular tivaware will be downloaded and installed in the c folder inside that you will find ti folder inside the ti folder you will find tivaware c series 2.2.0295 open that folder and here you can find all the important folders containing library files and examples let me show you two important folders which are very important to create our projects so first folder is driver lib inside that you can see here it contains all the header files belonging to the peripherals and then if you scroll down you can see all the c files related to the peripherals like gpio i2c lcd one wire pwm and all this is one important folder driverlib second important folder is 
INC folder. In that folder, you can see all the relevant header files for the hardware. Apart from that, you can find all the important header files for the microcontrollers, different microcontrollers which belong to Tiva C board. Now, once the installation is over, you can click finish. And then let me show you how to create a project. So let me close the workspace, create a new project. Okay. So go to project, create a new project. I am using IAR in this example. So click create a new project C main OK and I am creating a project called blink underscore LED and save. Now in this project, I am going to use the libraries and pro files provided by the Tivaware. For that, first I will go to the Tivaware folder. I will copy these two folders, which are driverlib and inc folder. Just copy them and paste it inside the project folder. So, the LED blink or blink LED project is created inside the folder named project using Tiva C library. So I have copied and pasted INC and driver lib folders inside the project folder. Now right click on the project and add group. Okay. Give a name to the group. Let me call it library and click OK. So after that, you can see a library folder has been created. Right click on that. Go to add files. Inside the driver lib, open the EWARM. Why this folder? Because we are using IAR IDE and other library files for like for example code composer studio iar gcc for eclipse rv mdk for kyle all the important library files are provided inside these folders so since i am using iar i will be opening ewarm open the exe and then come down and select all files and click on driver lib dot a file and open so you can see in the library folder we have now the driver lib dot a file second thing that we have to do is go to project right click go to options and inside that go to C compiler go to preprocessor Click on this button and include directory. So we have to include the project directory because the project directory contains driver lib folder and INC folder. So just click on the project folder which contains all the in important library files. Select folder and then click OK. Now in the general options, in the top, we have to select the device. So click on the device. Go down to the Texas Instruments TM4C123GH6PM because this is the microcontroller which we are using in this TVC board. Click on that and then just click OK. Now, if you are using the Tiva C board, then you can go to options, click on debugger. Instead of simulator, you can use TI Stellaris 
and then click OK. If you don't have the board, then you can stick with simulator. OK. Now, let me show you how can we create a project using the Tivaware libraries. So I have created a small project to blink an LED. Inside that you can see, wait a second, you can see we have included standard int.h library, standard bull.h library or header files and then we have included inc folder inside that we have the memory map for the microcontroller that we are using driver lib folder inside that we are using three header files debug.h gpio.h and sysctl.h coming down i have created a variable uint 32t the name of the variable is ui32 loop and then we are using some functions related to the peripherals like sysctl peripheral ready gpio in type gpio output and so on now the question comes how to get these functions and how to know where these functions are before that let me just compile the project and see if there is any error so it is now asking me for creating a workspace so i will just give it name workspace underscore led underscore blink and save it we can see we have zero error zero warning let's make the file and we are getting one error which is driver lib a need to be included so let me just cross check it okay so it is inside the project folder so i will just go to the driver lib ewarm exe copy this and better place to place it inside the project folder directly so i have just copied the driver lib.a file which is placed inside driver lib to the project folder and let me just change the path of the driver lib so let me remove this yes and uh, rather i will include the driver lib from the folder of the project itself click ok and then let me try to make the file let me just uh, clean the project and rebuild all so you can see we have zero error only one warning we can neglect this warning so let me rebuild the project and it says zero error okay now how to get these functions it is important to know where these functions are located and how can we use them and how can we pass the arguments inside the function and which argument is correct and which argument is not accepted in the functions so for that you can go to view source browser on the top and click on the source browser option okay once you click on the source browser option you can see there is a source browser window i would rather keep it on the right side and it shows all the functions and variables looped in uh, used in the project now i can use right click add files inside the driver lib i can just click on gpio.c if i am interested in gpio then click on open now the gpio.c has been included just compile the project 
okay and now in the right side in the source window or source browser window you can see the list of functions available with the gpio dot c file for example if you want to write something on the gpio pin then you can take the help of gpio write function double click on that and here inside that you can read all the details related to the gpio write function in this way you can create your own projects using the help with the help of all the functions provided by the gpio library for example if you want to add the features of adc then you can just go to link right click on the project add files go to driver lib and click on adc open and just recompile it and then you will be able to see all the functions which are available with the adc in the microcontroller so using these you functions you can easily create your own projects and i will show you in future how to create projects using these functions and in this case you will not be bothering about all the details like how to use the registers dereference the registers and all to create a project with this i would like to end the presentation if you have any doubts or queries then you can put your doubts queries suggestions in the comment section if you have not subscribed my channel then i would request you to subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day